Hey, spring break, what's up? It's the culture detective here. Um, if spring break is a Japanese word, it would be a haru yasumi. Uh, it's the culture detective here investigating your favorite animes. And today I'm going to be doing an anime review on an anime that I recently watched. World Break, Aria of Curse for a Holy Swordsman, or in Japanese, Seiken Tsukai no Waldo Bureiku. Yes. So, um, this is a light novel written by Awamura Akamitsu, and then it is it adapted into an anime by a studio called Diomedea in the year 2015. Now, uh, I know it's weird. I'm randomly watching some one-off anime out of nowhere from 2015 for some reason. And the reason why I'm watching this anime is because my friend Nick recommended it to me. And not out of good intentions. So I watched Sword Art Online about a year ago and I told him how much I hate it and how much it sucks. And then he's like, wait until you see other bad animes. So Nick essentially really 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 wanted me to review bad animes and talk about them and the first anime that he mentioned is world break aria of curse for holy swordsman and it is part of uh the uh four kings the four kings of light novel adaptation and this is one of the four because it's so bad so it, it ended up being in, in, in the four kings so world break aria of curse of a holy swordsman or i'm just going to call it world break from now on is about a bunch of kids a bunch of teenagers uh they have past lives so in the past lives they died and then they were reborn in japan and they're just a bunch of kids and then they uh they are saviors you know there is a dog tag and they pull it off and the dog tag becomes a giant sword or something and they activate superpowers and they fight monsters uh, these monsters are called metaphysicals. So right off the bat, it's like Evangelion, but a hundred times cheaper. It's like Darling and Franks, but even worse. Uh, second of all, um, there there is like literally no actual plot in the story. I mean, things happen. But the more you try to think about what's happening, the more uh, your mind is breaking. The more the world is breaking. Like the world building is broken here. I mean, thus the title World Break, am I right? Now, the only good thing I can tell from this anime is the opening sequence, actually. And not the animation. The animation of the OP, very mediocre, the average, kids fighting the air, turning around, smiling, all that bullshit. But the song itself is actually quite catchy. It's actually really fun. And the ending is kind of mediocre, but it's honestly not that bad. But that is pretty much the only good element of this anime. Everything else about this anime is um, unsurprisingly bad. Actually, even worse than I thought, because I thought to myself, okay, I, I looked at the MAL reviews, I looked at IMDB. It doesn't seem that bad, right? It doesn't seem that bad. It can't be that bad, right? Nope, it is terrible. It is atrocious, in fact. The plot is so fast paced. It's so fast paced. It's like one scene can be 30 seconds long and, a, and one episode is 20 something minutes. So it's like 30 something scenes in, in one episode. And, and some scenes are longer, but they still feel super rushed because they're important. They're important scenes, but a lot of things just keep happening and happening and happening. And all at the same time, even though it's super fast paced, it's also really boring because while so much is happening, nothing interesting is actually happening. So it simultaneously feels like too much is happening and it simultaneously feels like nothing is happening. And that is the worst kind of pacing to any movie or TV show or anime you can ever get. The characters, they are annoying. Every single character suck ass. The main character is a nice, brave, super strong, overpowered guy. Haha. -ha. And then we have the uh, the girl with the pink hair. She's the absolute worst. Every time she's in a scene, she just ruins it because she constantly yells and screeches and she's the average uh, younger sister character. 
uh, except she has a developed uh, a sexual affect for her own biological brother. Why? Why? And then uh, we have the girl with the big boobs, and then we have the second girl with the big boobs, and then we have a third girl with the big boobs, and then everybody has big boobs. It's just, it's so bland and boring. Every single character is so annoying and they do not need to exist. You know, they all could just die and the story would, would, would still suck and the story would not change at all. The animation in general is mediocre at best. Some of the shots in this anime actually look hideous. They actually look like they're drawn by like a bunch of like 10 year olds if they were given enough time, of course. And I don't want to diss animators because they put in a lot of work and my drawing is terrible. I'm terrible at drawing. But geez, like the animation here in this anime is some of the worst I've seen. And uh, this whole anime is just one cliche after another, after another, after another, after another. It's like a, it's like a bingo of cliches. Like if we have a five by five bingo sheet, oh, incest, oh, sexual assault, oh, big boobs, oh, main character randomly pulls something out of his ass and save the world. Oh, the villain also has big boobs. Um, uh, this is oh, there's a bully character. Oh, the bully character turns out to be a good guy. Oh, uh, this happened, that happened. Like this anime would just check every single box, and there's so much fan service here. Like, if you erase all the fan service in this anime, it's going to be only thirty percent of its own length. Like, I, I bet you it's going to be way, way smaller. It's just stacked with so much fan service, so much unnecessary fan service. It's just annoying. And uh, yeah, episode four of this anime actually ends off on an interesting note where we have a fight between the main character, Haimura Monoha, and this British guy who is unbelievably stupid sounding, but okay, who cares? There's a fight between the main character and this British character, and the fight actually seemed to be interesting, except at the end, it never actually went anywhere because on the next episode and for the rest of the anime, the characters acted like this fight had never happened. And the next episode, episode 5, is basically a beach episode where nothing happens but a bunch of half-naked girls just screaming, yelling, Oh, Nietzsche, ah, taskete, ah, yamete, ah. And uh, that's, that's a whole friggin' episode. And then episodes 6 and 7 basically have this love triangle thing and it's, just, it's stupid as hell. And turns out this uh, this lover uh, is a, a Russian assassin or something. And turns out she's a she's a good person. She doesn't want to assassinate anyone actually. So the anime spends the next four episodes uh, where the main character invades Russia. <laughs> oh, it's it's ridiculous. And he, even with a wacky idea like invading Russia, uh, nothing interesting still happens. And this anime has a lot to say about diplomatic relationships. Like, there's this whole holy swordsman Japanese branch, and then there's the British holy swordsman, and there are Russian holy swordsmen, and there's like there are swordsmen all over the world. But it doesn't do anything interesting with it. It's the main character invades Russia out of nowhere, and then just destroys the villain, and then just leaves, and then that's it. Nothing happens. Nothing has changed. And one huge gripe I have with the story is that every time a main character wins a fight, he recalls his past life. So he's like, when he's like on, on his lowest point in the fight and blood is like spilling from his mouth and he's like, ugh, 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 nande, nande. And he suddenly like remembers like, oh, uh, oh, right. Uh, in my past life, I used to be this super powerful underworld king, blah, 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 all this bullshit. And then suddenly he, back to reality, Ah, uh, and then he's like, pulls out some crazy thing and then just destroys a villain and that's it. So this whole concept of having past lives literally served no purpose, but to be an excuse for the main character to win. This concept literally serves no purpose other than this. It's stupid. It's actually stupid. So, um, yeah, it's bad. It's bad. World Break, Aria of Curse for Holy Swordsman is atrocious and I'm giving it a strong 1 out of 10. Yeah. 
So, have you watched this anime from 1 to 10, which is rated like, like it, and subscribe if you want more? And thanks for watching.